Hey everybody, this is Anthony over at anthonycharlespodcast.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Audio-Technica ATR2100 USB XLR microphone. Now, this is a $50 mic at the time of this video. Uh, it's a combination XLR and USB mic. So in the far left, there's an XLR cable for plugging into mixers and mic pres, and in this picture, you could see the USB cable attached to the back of this unit. Uh, some people online used to pay 30 for this. Lucky! Now, this is the older brother microphone that is out now. It's $80, but I didn't really see the need to do that. So I spent this amount of money, $50, to get this kit you're seeing here. And this is just me unboxing it. Uh, there it is. There's everything that it comes with. Uh, it comes with uh, the little mic stand, the mic clip, microphone, XLR cable, manual, and a USB cable. Now this microphone is plug and play, meaning you take the USB from the back of the microphone and plug it into your computer, and as you can see in this photo, you simply set up your system preferences to use that as your audio input. Now this is where things get really cool. You can actually monitor or listen to you as you're talking by the headphone jack on the back of the unit, but you can also send the output audio from your computer through the microphone and into your headphones, which is really cool. Now, some of you guys might be just starting out with audio or doing something uh, like a podcast, and you're not sure exactly how much money to invest. So what I did here is uh, just, I just took a few options that you could use and compared them to the quality of this microphone. Let's check it out. Check, check, check. This is using the internal microphone on the MacBook Pro. Check, check, check. This is using the Apple earbuds. Check, one, two. And finally, check, check, one, two. This is using the Audio-Technica USB microphone. Overall, I really do like this microphone, especially for the price point. Um, the reason that I got it was the functionality of having something that's simple, that I can plug and play, and just get a, a good sound out of. Uh, admittedly, not a fantabulous sound, not, a, not an excellent sound, I guess, but uh, something that's very usable and a very portable solution, and also has the XLR functionality, so I can actually plug that into mixers or have another microphone on hand, um, which is really cool. The only thing that bothers me is this blue LED light. You can see this picture of it here. Uh, it's so bright you could see into the darkness of someone's soul with it. So I'm not a big fan of that. But other than that, a very solid choice. In fact, this is the microphone that I have been using to record all the voiceover in this video. I didn't want to do anything on camera. I wanted to do everything post-production using this microphone. I really like it, and I'm going to be using it a lot more. But let me know what you think. Go ahead and put your thoughts in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe and share. That always helps the channel. And uh, if you like this kind of stuff, I think you'll definitely like my podcast. It's where I have tips, tricks, blogs, gear reviews. I talk to industry professionals. Uh, there's a lot of really good stuff there, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So this is Anthony from anthonycharlespodcast.com saying goodbye and we will see you next time.